if you've ever started a physics lab within two hours of when it was due just to spite your TA, go ahead and like and subscribe, guys. Get in that comment section. The comment section is out of control. The final thing we're going to look at in this video is tRNA charging. tRNA charging is actually what connects the dots between why a specific codon is associated with a particular amino acid. Because in tRNA charging, we are taking an amino acid, we are putting it on a specific tRNA with a specific anticodon. tRNA charging is going to be a two-step energy requiring reaction. And tRNA charging involves enzymes called aminoacyl tRNA synthetases. These aminoacyl tRNA synthetases are going to be important enzymes because they're going to correspond to the specificity of translation by putting particular amino acids on particular tRNA molecules. The aminoacyl tRNA synthetase reaction involves a molecule of ATP reacting with an amino acid in a tRNA molecule, resulting in aminoacyl tRNA, a molecule of AMP, and an inorganic pyrophosphate. If you remember back to when you first learned about tRNA, you'll remember about the acceptor arm. Recall that the acceptor arm has a consensus sequence CCA. And so this A is on the three prime end. And what do we know about the three prime end? We're gonna have a hydroxyl group. And so we can add amino acids to the three prime hydroxyl group of this acceptor arm. And so when we have a charged tRNA, we form an ester between the three prime hydroxyl group and the carboxyl group on the amino acid. And thus, this will be a charged tRNA. Now, probably the most important charged tRNA to know is methionine. Methionine is important because it's the initiator codon, or the initiator amino acid, of every polypeptide. One major note on methionine is that in eukaryotes, we write it as MET, or MET, corresponding to the AUG codon. In prokaryotes, which I'll write in orange, it's called FMET, which stands for informal methionine. Informal methionine also corresponds to the AUG codon. The only difference between methionine and informal methionine is that informal methionine, not informal, we're talking in four mil. So there's a formal group, like an aldehyde, on the N-terminus of this methionine. So therefore, what would we expect to find at the N-terminus of a prokaryotic polypeptide? We would expect to find an informal methionine. What about a eukaryotic? We would expect to find regular methionine. But again, these both correspond to the same codon, AUG. So please know that AUG is our start codon, and it corresponds to methionine in eukaryotes, an informal, not informal, informal, methionine, or FMET in prokaryotes. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what genetics class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are currently enrolled as a Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson Building. You will find all the details you need to know about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu tutoring. You may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online through Navigate, or just drop in during our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.